talk a little bit about the Gothic romance here and how this is really different from a regular horror movie. Well, what we did was create some characters. We started with the characters. So the idea was to see if we couldn't uh, enter into a world where it was the people that were the most horrific elements and not rely on what has become a lot of cliches and special effects. So uh, once we uh, began to mold who the people were, they began to tell us what to do. And uh, you've seen the rest. It's a really, um, it's a, it's a bittersweet, sad, and ultimately horrific uh, love story. Um, other than that, I don't really know what to say, except that uh, I'm very happy with uh, the way Guillermo uh, directed the film, and the cast, I think, is just extraordinary. Extraordinary work on the part of everybody in the cast, down to the smallest player. Talk about uh, Guillermo's imagination, and just even the house, how he recreated that on the stage. Well, if you've seen his other movies, uh, you're seeing a lot of rooms that I think Guillermo would be happy to live in for the rest of his life. He's um, a great designer, but he's got a very, very highly sense, a highly developed sense of detail and uh, spookiness. Uh, I think he's very susceptible to uh, the idea of being afraid of ghosts, even as an adult. And so uh, he has a lot to bring to the design of a... Uh, cavernous, uh, gothic, spooky space. And um, I visited this set during the production. I, like everyone else, had never seen anything like it. Um, I think he's quite sorry that he can't move in, actually. <laughs> Talk about having the chance to really work with Guillermo. What was that like for you? Well, he and I have worked for many, many years together. We've, we've written many things together. But, uh, no, we have uh, a wonderful uh, creative relationship where, um, I guess by now it's sort of a shorthand, but uh, I've come to know his sensibility very well, his polluted mind, I hope the little mind has polluted his, but um, I'm proud of the fact that uh, in today's Hollywood where the idea of doing an original film, we were able to pull it off uh, in the era of sequels and remakes, that uh, something as, if I could call it that, idiosyncratic as this, which deals with a lot of uh, our obsessions, but particularly his, uh, was able to see the light of day. Thank you so much. You're welcome.